In this question, we get given a circle with centre minus one, three. We get given a point six, eight that's on the circle. And we want to find the equation of the tangent to the circle at this point. I'll start by saying it's really tricky to do these kind of questions without a picture. So let's draw one and see if we can get a feel for the problem. So we've got our circle. Centre is at minus one, three. Minus one, three. Our six, eight is going to be somewhere up in this side of the circle. So let's put it up here somewhere. That's because we know the x number is a lot larger and we also know the y number is larger. So somewhere up here for us. Let's also draw the tangent in then. The tangent is going to look something like this. At that point, we're pretty much good to go with this problem. So things we can do. When you see this question, anytime you've got a tangent, be thinking about that relevant circle theorem for us. So in this case, it's the one where a radius meets a tangent at 90 degrees. And in this context, we're thinking then about perpendicular lines and their gradients a bit later. Let's see what we can do, first of all, with our radius. So if we're imagining this in terms of x and y coordinates, to go from minus 1 to 6, we've travelled along 7 on our x-axis. And to go from 3 up to 8, we've gone up 5 on our y-axis. So I'm going to write down here then the gradient of r, our radius that we were investigating. That's this part here. That gradient, change in y over change in x, is going to be 5 over 7. That's not really a very nice number for us. But the important thing we're going to use is our circle theorem. And this tells us the gradient of the tangent at that point. Most importantly, that they're negative reciprocals of one another, those two gradients, because they meet at 90 degrees. So that means the gradient of the tangent must be minus 7 over 5. Now we're there then, we know the gradient of the tangent is minus 7 over 5. We know also that the tangent must go through this point 6, 8. Now we have a point and a gradient, we can find the equation of the line. So the way that we do this is we know it must look like y equals mx plus c because it's a straight line. We can substitute in our value of y, which was 8. Our m is minus 7 over 5. And our x is 6. And we want to find the value of c then, don't we? So we can say 8 equals minus, that will be 42 over 5, plus c. We can move our 42 over 5 over to here. So let's actually change our 8 in terms of something divided by 5. So our 8 we could write as 40 divided by 5, plus our 42 over 5 will give us c. So c is going to be 82 over 5. Lastly, then, we can put that c back into our y equals mx plus c, and that's going to give us the equation so y equals minus 7 over 5x, that was our gradient, plus 82 over 5.